Clint Cox. Inside row number four going to be the K7 of Austin Kawasaki to his outside the 25 car of Jacobs Gibson. Inside row, inside row number five going to be the 55 car of DJ Hayes to his outside going to be the X car of Olivia Westerfield. And then looks like not making the call for the 77. So that'll be Dustin Solis. He's going to be on inside row number six. And then starting shotgun on the field, it's going to be the 121 of Adrian Smith. Come on. And Fusen and Parton bringing them through three and four, and great start. <laughs> Looks like Parton's going to lead the turn one. He really said it. Send it off in there, and he's going to lead him down the back stretch to three and four, just by a little bit of a nose of advantage. Houston slips up, allows Parton to stretch out that lead. So after one, it's the 75 of Parton, 17 of Houston, then the 11 of Gilly, the 22 of Brock, and then the 68 car of Lee J. York. Gilly gets to the inside of Houston as they come out of turn two. As Parton stretching out that lead, that time by it was Gilly at the liner for a second. As Parton's got a .953 second lead over Gilly and Houston. This time by, it looks like it's still going to be Gilly for second as they're going to lap, navigate the lap car of Justin Solis. So after five, it's going to be the 75 of Parton, the 11 of Gilly, 17 of Houston, and then the 22 of Brock. And we got caution going into turn one. Caution going into one. As Lee J. York, he spins it around. Looks like the, the three of Cox and the 68 of Lee J. York get together coming down the front stretch. Seventy-five of Eric Parton with Marty Gilly to his outside. It's going to be bringing him back to green this time by. Best race on the track right now is the K7 of Kawasaki and the three of Cox. And Kawasaki, he slips high coming in through one and two. And Gilly gets to the inside of Park. Park gets high going into one, but he's able to power out of it, maintain the lead. So after it's halfway this time by. So right now it's the 75 apart, the 11 of Gilly. Third, 17 of Raymond Fusen, fourth, the 22 of Anthony Brock, and then Austin Kawasaki in the K7 rounding out the top five. So Eric Park, he's got a bunch. 6.53 second lead last time by. And coming up to five to go. Five to go that time by. As they're going to be coming up on the last car of Olivia Westerfield as they head down the back stretch. And she's making part and really work for it. Gill's going to try to shoot to the outside. But the 17 of Houston gets 
to the inside of Gilly as he tries to navigate the X of Olivia Westerfield. And Lee J. York, he slows coming down the front stretch. Let's see if they're going to throw the caution. For the 68, looks like he's going to make it to the infield, not draw a caution. As Houston starts to put pressure on the 75 apart, as they're coming down to two to go. And it'll be white flag this time by. Priced on cooked food, half price on cooked food. So if you're a little hungry going out, you can get some food half priced. And in fifth, it's going to be the K7 of Austin Kawasaki, and fourth, the 22 of Anthony Brock. Then in third, it's going to be the 11 of Marta Gilly. Second, going to Raymond Fusen in the 17, and there's your winner of your front wheel drive feature of the 75 of Eric Parton. And I want to thank everyone for coming out to Thunder Mountain Speedway tonight, spending your hard-earned money on behalf of, of Dennis and Lori Barton. Thank you for coming out. Don't forget, racing again tomorrow night as we're going to have a huge fireworks show, big races in all classes. So uh, make sure you come back out tomorrow night for a great night of fun here at Thunder Mountain Speedway. Going to have activities, well, pre-race cornhole tournament and play. Like my heart's full of big break And a stab of loneliness shot